graffiti vandalism is defacing public property. I'm not a graffiti vandal, I'm a graffiti artist. Since the late 1980s, Jaime Valle Reyes has worked to innovate and promote an art form that was once limited to the streets. Some people need to be re-educated on art and art movements and what's happening in the streets. Pushing it forward in a positive light helps a lot. Graffiti artists worked really hard to get it to that point of it being accepted and seen as a viable art form. I grew up uh, in and around East LA. For an artist, it was a lot of visual stimulation with all the uh, murals that I was exposed to at a young age. And, you know, through doing public art and through doing a lot of the stuff that I was doing, I was able to put myself out there earlier than the normal artist would. A lot of the, the work that's produced publicly, a lot of it is really powerful and it's easily accessible. You don't have to pay money to go see it. It's right outside you know, your front door. Jaime's work eventually toured the world, attracting the attention of several luxury brands seeking to embrace his style in a way unseen by mainstream audiences. I mean, coming from the background that I came from, we take it as it comes. If people want to accept the work that we do, cool. I've done some big corporate work. Christian Louboutin, Neiman Marcus, and now Lexus. It's just kind of, you know, natural flow into that. But the fact that like a company like Lexus can kind of be hip enough to allow us to paint a car like this and to give us free range, that kind of gives me a lot of faith in a company like Lexus. The theme is back alleys and art galleries. Basically, artists take an illustration all around about the glitz and glamour behind the art world. It's very uh, dynamic, it's very uh, energetic. And I think the car represents that. It's funny because it's a hybrid of graffiti, elements of what it is and what it was and combining it and changing it up. So I think graffiti artists are some of the last uh, individuals that use their freedom of expression to the very extent of that word. You know, we used to joke, you know, that we were going to do jobs for certain companies, you know, we're going to do like cars and we're going to teach graffiti and we're going to have long beards and we're going to be professors and all this stuff and somehow it's all coming to life, it's all coming, coming true. <laughs>